out to engage in this spiritual, this consciousness battle and warfare that are, you know, that 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 is still going on to this very day and time. So you have to become more conscious of that as well. So when we have uh, the teachings of His Imperial Majesty, which which touch greatly on this issue, much before ones were even conscious of the serpent cult, we have His Imperial Majesty identifying that there is a serpent cult, which he identified as the godless and the cruel dragon. I think this is one of the best descriptors for the so-called Illuminati, New World Order, globalist elite by their various names and umbrella organization and groups and subgroups. Let's ask the question, who and what is the godless and cruel dragon? Well, the simple answer is basically it's the Illuminati or it's the serpent cult. More correctly, when you start to trace it to its ancient pre-Adam Weishaupt uh, upgrade, you can say, it was a serpent cult. You understand? And this is what Orit Ze Fitret, Orit Ze Elidet, basically seeks to describe in the book of Genesis. This is how far, so-called back, historically, this spiritual warfare, you understand, which is a consciousness warfare, you understand, which has metastasized and materialized and become physical warfare for various different reasons, whether they be so-called, um, you know, um, economical, political, social, religious, so forth and so on. It, it basically has one main origin. You understand? On the 5th of May, 1941, His Imperial Majesty, Kedamawi Haile Selassie Abatachi, along with the aid of Ethiopia's allies, being faithful at that particular time, speaking of the British, you understand? Because you have to remember that J.A. Rogers' book, you understand, Nature Knows No Color Line. You understand? Came out around that very same time. So that book and that consciousness where people were discovering this long hidden and half of the story truth was already in the collective consciousness. So the, the British could not hide from that fact. You understand? They couldn't hide from their, their so-called Negro ancestry, their black ancestry, and they had to recognize and own up that his imperial majesty represented that original root and truth. Of course, there were many that didn't like that fact, you understand, and they worked hard to undermine that. This is what we see in the Illuminati, the serpent cult, creeping coup in Ethiopia in 1974 and 75. That's what we find right there. They finally found willing Ethiopian adherence to the philosophy, the devil's philosophy of the serpent cult to basically undermine the imperial throne of great King David in Ethiopia with the creeping coup in Ethiopia and the rebellion against Abatachin, against Kedamawi Haile Selassie. But on May 5th, the 5th of May, 1941, His Imperial Majesty says something. He makes a very cryptic, I guess, hidden to some, yet it's a telling statement in light of what has been revealed. Haile Selassie, he proclaimed this. He said, quote, let us unite with our allies in everlasting friendship, to say brotherhood, and amity in order to be able to stand against the godless and cruel dragon which has newly risen and which is oppressing, or as you would say, downpressing mankind, which is downpressing humanity. Now you have to remember, this is May 5th, 1941. Most folks and folks just got to even learn about so-called a new world order. You understand the, the whole idea of the new world order, the Bilderbergers, Trilateral Commission, um, CFR, Council on Foreign Relations. I mean, there's a whole bunch of alphabet groups. Just look at the pyramid, the Illuminati pyramid, and all those groups and more subgroups and umbrella organizations are all, 
you know, connected. Basically, in totality, it's the serpent cult. You understand? Or they like to use Illuminati. Illuminati has become popular. But this now proves that his imperial majesty is the original archetype, you understand, of the Illuminati. His imperial majesty is the original Illuminati because it's his imperial majesty that first recognized and spoke to that on Ethiopia's Independence Day. He said, let us unite with our allies in eternal brotherhood or everlasting friendship and amity in order to be able to stand against the godless and cruel dragon which has newly risen and which is oppressing mankind. So we have to ask this question, who is this godless and this cruel dragon which has newly risen, newly, knows the key, the newly risen and which is down pressing humanity or more correctly, the son of man. See when we say son of man in the Bible, it really translates to what they say today as humanity. The son of man is humanity, but mankind, that is a kind of man. Now, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 13, it says, Wherefore, take to you the whole armor of God, that ye, that y'all, may be able to stand, to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand having done all to stand. See, there's a secret document uh, called the secrets of how to engage in this spiritual, this consciousness battle and warfare that are, you know, that 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 is still going on to this very day and time. So you have to become more conscious.